is like here. It's so, so, so cold. And I think, I think we need a warm up, you know, get our, get our blood pumping. And I'm feeling, I'm feeling a boogie coming along. Let's boogie.
days makes my heart come alive. Suddenly brought to light when I met you. One, two, three, jump! This is real love. This is real love. to get in today's, today's lesson. Today we are talking about the fifth commandment. Can you believe that we are halfway through with the ten commandments? Today we are going to be talking about the fifth commandment and the fifth commandment talks about how we need to honor our mother and our father. And today I'm going to give you three reasons why we need to honor our mother and our father. Number one, we need to honor our mother and our father because the Bible tells us to. The Bible is a God-breathed book and it tells us that we need to honor our mother and our father. Number two, we need to honor our mother and our father because did you know that if you are honoring your parents, you are honoring God too? When we show love and respect towards our mom and our dads, we are showing love and respect towards God because we are obeying Him. Therefore, we are honoring God too. So we should honor our parents because we want to honor God too. Number three, we need to honor our mother and our father because there is a blessing attached to it. Out of all the Ten Commandments, number five tells us that there is a blessing attached to when we obey this commandment. God tells us that He will bless us with a long life if we listen to our mom and our dad. Don't you want to live a long life? I know I do. So when your mom or your dad tells you that you must go finish your homework, clean up your room, help with the dishes or make sure that the house is tidy, you should listen to them and you should do it with love and respect. No back chatting or no attitude, just with love in your heart. You should honor them. Today we are going to do a fun craft that's going to help us set goals to obey our parents. So when you're ready, get your pencils and your scissor ready and let's get started. So like I said, today we are going to be making a goal scroll. And this, these goals that we're going to do can either be a week goal or a month goals, but these goals are going to help you to obey your mother and your father. So we're going to have a sheet like this, and what we're going to do is we're going to cut our scroll out, okay? When you're done cutting your scroll out, this is what it's going to look like. Now we're going to start with our goals. So get your pen ready. Today I'm going to do five goals, but if you want to do more, that's okay. And if you want to do less, that's also okay. So number one. My first goal is to be listening to my mom and my dad. Number two, I'm going to finish all my homework. So if I come home from school and I've got homework to do, I'm going to make sure that I finish my homework so that when I'm done, I can rest and play. Number three, I'm going to have a good attitude. So if 
if mom or dad asks me to do something, I'm going to do it out of love and respect towards them. Number four, I'm going to finish my supper. Because who doesn't love food? So when my mom puts broccoli on my plate, I'm going to make sure that I eat it all up. All my vegetables, I'm going to eat it all up. And number five, I'm going to finish all my chores when my mom asks me to do them. So when mom or dad tells me to wash the dishes or clean my room, or even take the garbage out. I'm going to do it when they ask me to do it because I honor them. I'm going to take my goals and I'm going to put them on my fridge so that every time I'm hungry and I go look inside my fridge, I know what goals I have to complete for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson and that you know why we need to honor our mother and our father. So I'm going to see you guys next week. I love and I miss you guys so much. Bye.